All right, here we are again. Welcome to your unique devotion. All right, uh, today I'm going to read, I'm, I'm goofy, I know. Uh, today I'm going to read John chapter 13, verses 23 through 30, and this is the second half of Jesus identifies his betrayer. So, let me just make a little adjustment. There we go. Hey, this is live. I don't normally cut and paste and, unless I mess it up horribly. <laughs> um, so, here we go. John chapter 13, verses 23. Now there was a leaning on, on Jesus' bosom, one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter, therefore, motioned to him to ask who it was of whom he spoke. Then leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread, and when I have dipped it, and having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Now after the piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, What you do, do quickly. But no one at the table knew for what reason he said this to him. For some thought, because Judas had the money box, that Jesus had said to him, Buy those things we need for the feast, and that he should give something to the poor. Having received the piece of bread, he then went out immediately. And it was night. So, this is an interesting question. Do you lean on the Holy Spirit for answers? Um, you know, the words in the Bible aren't put there just for fun. Uh, they're given to us, all of them, as for something to think about. And the whole idea with Judas here is a troubled time but just before that um, the one of the disciples leans on Jesus and says um, and it's it's Simon Peter I was looking for the name Simon Peter and he says Lord who is it um, so as he's leaning on him for answers now we have the Holy Spirit because that has been given to us now that we are on the other side of the cross and we have crossed that line of faith so you can't just ignore him I mean you can but you shouldn't let's say that you shouldn't just ignore him so then the question is aligning with this scripture do you lean on the Holy Spirit for answers in all times um, here we're talking about a troubled time, so I'll, I'll add to it. Do you lean on the Holy Spirit for answers in troubled times? Um, there's always a challenge throughout the day. Maybe not super troubled, um, but there's always a challenge throughout the day. So I challenge you to lean on the Holy Spirit. Take a moment say a prayer, ask a question, and see if, just be patient and s listen for the answer that the Holy Spirit's trying to give you to help you through that troubled time. And after you've gone through that troubled time and you've seen the help that was given, be grateful for it, acknowledge it, and remember then that it's not just that one time. He's doing it 24-7. Um, Use that as a sort of way to remember what it feels like. Remember what it, uh, what the whole situation was like, so that you can use that in the future troubled times to help you through. Um, so I'll read it one more time. Do you lean on the Holy Spirit for answers in troubled times? I hope that your troubled times today aren't crazy, but whatever challenge you come across. I hope that you are able to listen, I hope you're able to hear, and to overcome it. I hope that also that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day.